The W Keen high flying team that we all love has shocked the world by doing something we never thought they would do checking their corners. And something's just gonna glide over this, right? He's gonna do that. Whoa, we drone! Who is this team? The, the, the complete team. Give them some anti ecos and they're winning it all. PRX were notorious for playing a lot of wacky weird comps throughout their professional careers and were fan favorites because of that as they constantly thought outside the box and made many Valorant games way more interesting and exciting to watch. But one map that they consistently had trouble on though was Ascent. Especially when it came to their composition choices. They brought in Harbin and Reyna, most recently they brought in Deadlock and a Sage comp as well but with pretty little successes. And the key factor to that is what Jing can flex into. But if we take a look at the most recent game against Trace, Jing is on Killjoy, and PRX are playing meta comps. Now Jing has been a shining star in terms of fragability for PRX and has shown his propensity to play the true style of Duelist, making space for his team no matter the map or the side they're playing. But something has drastically changed in the PRX camp, and no, not that something. If we take a look at a round from this Ascent game against Trace, Jing doesn't move. Him playing Killjoy aside, he plays by his set util anchors sight like a normal KJ and doesn't actually look to push in further at all. He just chills. The funniest thing is about this is that because he knows he doesn't have to move mid round, he's chilling to such an nth degree that he's just calmly sipping his water. But this whole tale does go deeper because PRX as a whole have looked great on Ascent, a map they've historically struggled on against a team like Trace who are quite good on this map. Zooming back out though, in their finals against DFM, Jing ended up playing four unique agents, more than their resident player Forsaken and if you take a look at the entire history of the team we can see that they've now effectively established almost all of their players as flexes which is insane including three of them having the ability to play Sova. Now this careful and calculated playstyle which has affected Paper X as of late is fascinating as many of their fans have fallen in love with them due to their fun and carefree personalities and a style of play that effectively emulated that. But we've seen that with them cooking a bit too much in the past it's left them devoid of really any international success and we know the factor isn't the team because all of them are incredibly talented. But where I hope this leaves us with Paper X now is that they're seeing the power of playing standard compositions and having an ability to flex with even more agents. They can try to stay somewhat true to their form, but they can still add some more standardization to the game that they want to play. And if this harmony of elements does end up carrying forward in the regular season and even on the big stage at internationals, then PRX fans have a lot to be excited for this year.